so the intent of the CMS ONC, you know, price transparency was what you just described. Mm -hmm. I mean, so that people could know, hey, this is what it's going to cost. Now that the practical, you, I, I've gone out onto a few of the websites and looked at the, <laughs> I, you, you, there's no, I mean, the, one of them had a spreadsheet, and I think it had, I don't know, uh, like 1,800 columns. So mm -hmm. I would have to figure out which MRI I got. And I mean, it was very mm -hmm. hospital-centric language yep. uh, around it. Um, but that gets closer to the to the spirit of it, right? Of people want to know what they're going to, um, what they're going to be charged and how much it's going to cost, what their experience is going to be. So what would be, what do you think would be better than just, hey, here's, here's, our, here's our price list? Um, would it be, you know, some sort of way of calculating, and and how are we gonna how are we gonna get from where we're at from a policy standpoint? This is what they th this is th what they said um, to where we need to get, uh, or is it just we're now looking at um, a consumer centric focus, and that's gonna drive us to different kinds of solutions? They're gonna look at a health system and go, I can't understand you know, what this is going to cost me, and they're yeah. going to find another one that you just pull up your app and go, oh, you're doing this, it's probably going to be around yeah. 2,500 bucks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think CMS's intent is is very good, to so drive price transparency. Oh, absolutely. But to your point, the price lists are long, and there's lots of ways to kind of obfuscate what the real price is. And, and that's part of the age-old, you know, game of uh, payer-provider interactions um, that impact patients. And so I, I think it's going to be a combination of several things. First, we've never been able to do more with technology than we can do right now. We can process technology. We can leverage algorithms that, be, that create rules that govern, that govern data and the use of that data. So really, we using eligibility information, using pre-authorization information, you know, in the case where a patient has some form of, of insurance, we can get pretty close to determining uh, patient estimation, uh, or excuse me, payment estimation for payments now. That's complex. I think that can inform a simple bill, a simple bill that says, this is what insurance will cover for this particular care, uh, this particular treatment, and this is what your responsibility is. And um, I think that's what's required for us to break through uh, and, and uh, cr really create a consumer-like experience that uh, we're all accustomed to in other industry settings here. I don't, I don't pretend that it's easy, uh, and I, I think people, there's a lot of talk about it, but it will solve a lot of issues if we can get to that, that yeah, point. Yeah, we're on a 40-year journey of we are. Instant transformation yeah, is what. Yeah, and every der derivation of it with capitated plans and everything else to try to simplify things, we've got to crack the code.